Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blackbeam Solutions. In today's video tutorial, we will be looking at one major thing you need to do before downloading any font of your choice. But before we kick start this video, I want to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. And if this is your first time of being in here, this is Blabbing Solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of such nature are of great benefits to you, then I encourage you to hit on the subscribe button and consider becoming a member of this channel. If you've already done all these, thank you so much for doing so. And if you're already a part of this lovely team, thank you so much for showing up once again. So without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into the video. Alright, so when it comes to downloading free fonts, I believe you will agree with me that the first site or the first place that comes into mind is dafont.com or some people call it dafont.com. So what most people would do or what I would do most of the times is when you go to Google, you just type dafont.com or dafont and you just click on the link and here you go. So this is how the site looks like, this is dafont.com. Okay, but one one most important thing that we miss a lot when we come onto this site is what I'm about to show you. Now, uh, when you know what font you are in search of, everything becomes so easy for you, right? So, for instance, I'm I'm here and I want to search for a font with the name Amarillo. Um, Amarillo. All right. So uh, let's wait a while okay so there you go so if you know what font you are in search of coming to da font becomes easy for you so you just come in here click on download and automatically your font gets to download for you so that is it i i get to download the font free of charge but what you need to do is to give credit to the author of the font or you can just come down here and click on donate to the author and at least give a tip to the author for providing you with such an amazing font all right so what if you come onto this site and you don't know uh what font you are downloading so it's like maybe you're creating something for a client and you need a font a particular style of font that will move or that will go well with um what project you are working on right so one thing you will notice is that the font has been categorized into uh, how should I put it? Categorized into categories, right? Good. So we have uh, fancy fonts, we have foreign look fonts, we have techno font, we have gothic font. So these are the categories. So if the font or the style of font you are looking for falls within any of these categories then you just come under it so let's say for instance i'm looking for a font with a calligraphy style right so it's under script so when i come under script i can see we have calligraphy school handwritten brush so i'm looking for calligraphy so i just click on uh, calligraphy and automatically it loads calligraphy stylish fonts for me and i'm able to uh, search through the range of fonts that i need so that is another that is another step or that is another thing you can do so it narrows your search down you get it so you don't need to scroll through this 500,000 different font types in order to search for that particular font you're looking for so this style helps you to easily identify the font now so after doing this let's see uh, you see the stylish font for instance you're creating a wedding invitation card and you know wedding invitation cards goes with this stylish fonts right fonts with um, sans sans right so we have this sans serif fonts and sans sorry what am I, what am I saying so 
So sorry, sorry, sorry about that. What I was trying to say is uh, we have difference between the serif font and the sans serif font, right? So the serif font goes with this stylish, stylish style. So if you are creating a, w a wedding invitation card, you would want to uh, have the stylish uh, kind of font, right? So you see this south south more font, and you kind of like it. So you feel, wow, this font will be great for the uh, wedding invitation card, right? So you go ahead and you click download, and automatically your font downloads for you. And uh, maybe you go onto your software application. Let me say, for instance, I'm, I'm using Photoshop. So once I go I, after downloading and installing the font, once I go onto Photoshop, uh, so let's put this into practice. So I'm going to open the font and um, I'm going to install it. So it's, it actually comes in a zip file format. So if you if you don't have any zip file reader, just I would recommend uh, and win WinRAR file or maybe any other file that can easily open zip files, right? So I'm um, you can you can choose to extract this or I can choose to just double click in here and uh, uh, I get access to install this font right good so the name of the font is south more right so let's keep that in mind south more and let's head on to Photoshop so Photoshop here I'm going to say uh, create new file for me create new file please don't delay me all right so create new file I'm, I'm not going to choose anything I'm just going to click on create because we're not going to do much more thing here so so let's move on to uh, type 2 and uh, all right so let me change this uh, the color of the font since the background is white so I'm going to just type anything so let me say I want to type Cynthia Cynthia and sorry Cynthia and James good so this is Cynthia and James so let's quickly check our font that we installed and see if south more all right so we have south more here so let's quick quickly Cynthia and James let's increase the size so well you might you might want to go alongside with this type of font it looks it looks stylish it looks great so uh, okay so this is cool but what if it wasn't as cool as you wanted it to be so meaning you've wasted this much whole time right trying to install so what you do is you install a font you come and type it doesn't fit what you want you go back download another font and install hey bro you wasting time you wasting time so in here we uh, the font has this preview button where you can type in whatever for a uh, style or whatever text you you had wanted to use that font for so I can have a preview of it right then after you just download it if you you kind of like it so let's see I saw some more I like this font just click on it and come here custom to you type your text in here so I'm just going to type Cynthia and James so just if you want it to be in a very big size you can choose large if you want it to be in a small size you can choose small if you want it to be in a tiny size so currently it's in this is a medium right so me medium is okay then let's click on submit and wait for it to give us a preview of how the text will look like if we download it so perfectly what <laughs> this is what we had right so back in photoshop this is what we had and same style this is what we had so this is saving you from downloading the font before and installing the font before getting to realize that no that wasn't the actual font you had wanted to download so please make use of the preview button very well okay make use of the preview button and guys you would save yourself the hassle 
of downloading the font before uh, realizing what you downloaded wasn't the exact font you had wanted to use for the design right. so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you've learned something new in here if you did please do want to give this video a like and also making sure to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so until i come your way next time there is still blabbing solutions and thank you so much for watching happy new year